Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. In today's tutorial, guys, I'll show you to fix the issue where your Samsung or your Android device is not turning on or powering up. Now, of course, this is just for demonstration purposes. It applies to any device. This device is actually working, but I'm just using it to demonstrate exactly what to do. All right. So, of course, right away, the first thing you want to check in case your device is just not powering up like it should is you want to check your charge port now of course the charge port might be damaged and if the charge port is damaged the device is unable to take a full charge as a result even if your adapter is used um, what it means is that it will not charge the device so in those cases i recommend that you actually go ahead and try to get a wireless charger i'll have a link to those below in the description of course you can always borrow one from a friend or of course um, any colleague or somebody else that might have a wireless charger what you're going to do is you're going to try to place your device on the wireless charger give it some time and after say 15 to 20 minutes or longer you're going to um, try to power on again of course if that doesn't work another thing to check in the um, short term that might help out a lot is to check your um, usb cable and of course your power brick or your adapter that comes with your device what you want to do is to make sure that they are working so of course in the case of your adapter make sure that the adapter is not at fault so switch this out with a spear or backup or bar friends um, phone and of course the same would go for a usb cable if either is damaged what's going to happen is that your device is not going to charge and if your device is not charging of course it will not power on so of course we have just talked about two things that you can try so of course make sure that your device is actually getting a charge through your um, adapter and usb cable if either is faulty, you'll have to switch them out to a new one. And of course, again, you can buy new ones or borrow just to see if that's at fault. If that fails, guys, if it's the port of your device, which is preventing your device from getting a charge, um, as we said, you use a wireless charger, you should bypass that. And of course, once you're sure that your device has a charge, um, the next thing you can try, guys, just in case, um, just in case your um, device is not powered on because one of the following, you're gonna go ahead and do the following from the blank device. You're gonna hold down power and volume down. So you're gonna press and hold. Um, on your display, there should be nothing. This is just a demonstration device. You're gonna keep holding and holding. You're just gonna keep holding, guys. As soon as you feel that vibration and you see the Samsung logo, go ahead and let go. By doing that, guys, what you have done is to force restart the device. Sometimes the software has crashed and nothing is being displayed or shown on the display. As a result of the software crashing by holding down power and volume down and holding for about 30 seconds give or take what's that means that you've just forced uh, rebooted your device chances are it should start up as seen here and it should start functioning again so i'm gonna unlock this right now all right so by doing the following you should be able to fix your device and of course if you tried all of those or exhausted those tips and it didn't work chances are it might be something more severe with the hardware components in your device and you might have to take it into the shop for a repair uh, but in most cases it's usually the adapter the charge port or of course again the software and one of those should have worked in most cases to fix your device all right i'd like your feedback so as always make a comment below thanks guys for tuning in ricardo saying bye until next time bye